Text B vlogs are a number of short clips so that any bee can view and learn from. Become a subscriber and click the bell to my YouTube channel, Honey Bee Tech. Eight different series of educational videos. Included are extra playlists. With 10 beekeepers in discussion, there will be 20 answers. I work with the 21st answer. I dare to be different. I call this the tech method. This is a 4 litre tin of uh, Dulux Weather Shield. Three coats will give you uh, 15 year guarantee with no primer or undercoat. I've been using this for over 30 years. Give the paint a good stir. The last time uh, I used this tin of paint, painting a different gear was uh, just on 12 months ago. And providing you put the lid on uh, correctly, the paint will not dry out. With uh, the 4 inch roller that I use, I have never had to use a brush as you can get in all the nooks and crannies with the tail end of the roller and uh, it puts the paint on a lot thicker than if you're using a brush. Probably two coats of the roller that I use and how I use it is possibly equivalent to four coats of brush coats and it's that much quicker. The big plus about this uh, four inch tom thumb roller is that you don't need any brush. I only use the, the, the roller only. It's fantastic, it gets in all the nooks and crannies and uh, the paint covers everything. It only takes uh, a few minutes to uh, put the coats on. These have got the first coat and uh, this one's getting a coat on now. This is the base that had the broken piece of the fibro and uh, I've bogged it up and once it's painted you won't be able to tell the difference. I put three screws in the entrance of the nuke bases so that if they happen to get hit by anything the fibro won't uh, break out and it's a safeguard for when the nuke bases are being stored. The roller is used to feather out any runs so that when the finished product is completed you don't have any runs on any of your gear. I do not like seeing any runs on my finished painted units. With this uh, roller with the sandwich uh, bag wrapped up I've uh, actually kept them for up to uh, three or four weeks I still use them intermittently in between before I wash the uh, rollers out. I put the first coat on and uh, then I check to see where I've got to uh, putty any holes or gaps up. It makes it that much easier to uh, find, find them. Uh, after I've painted the first coat I let them dry for about an hour and uh, then I can put the uh, second coat on. I can put all three coats on in the one day. After the final coat has dried, I take them round to my storage area. I store them round the back with my other gear and there's a space to put in between each one until I'm ready to use it and the paint hardens without uh, them all sticking together. The full depth supers that you see were made and painted 12 months ago 
and still have the spaces in between each super. Mm -hmm.